Well, it's looking like some men on a roof and they're nailing down shingles on a very old house. Yeah, so the first time I was in Springville, I was taken through their historical society and they have a collection of, you know, maps and newspaper clippings and all that fun stuff. Uh, I saw this map that was of Seneca Nation and it was describing, you know, the landmarks and all this fun stuff. And I saw this giant, this rock giant. And at the bottom, I read the mythology about it and I was just really inspired. So I decided to create a magical scene of a female giantess sleeping with the city growing on her shoulders. And, you know, we have a pasture of cows and we have the sunset. So it's supposed to be a really, you know, peaceful and loving scene of a giant protecting a city. Uh, in Springville, and just in general, I mean, the people have been incredible, like working with um, their arts program, their uh, public art, uh, like team of kids, which has been so cute and like really fun to see that they are inspiring like future generations to paint murals and be a part of the public setting. Um, so it's been really nice being here and just working with really inspirational people in such a cool small town. Public art is one of those things where you can be anywhere at any time and feel something or be engaged or be inspired to have a conversation whether you hate it or you love it or you know you want nothing to do with it. It's, it's something that is in your realm that is accessible to everyone at any time and I find that super important with you know inspiring younger, younger generations changing mind, minds to current generations or older generations. It's just a way to bridge the gap. And a lot of the time you do find that your general public is a little nervous with the idea of going to galleries, going to museums because they don't feel like they belong sometimes. And so that I found with my years and experience, I didn't want to do gallery work, but instead bring gallery great art to everyday people. love for the land that I have now cultivated while being here. I've taken a lot of time to hike, explore, and really like become a part of this city as much as I can. And I think that this mural and all, it was supposed to be about Springville, but now it's more or less my relationship with the land itself because like, I really found it peaceful. I really found it, um, loving and nurturing and I hope people get that from the piece. Five! Four.